There's a little bit of shaking in the video, but hopefully not too bad. I'll be using a tripod next time. Hopefully you enjoy the video anyway. Thanks. Hey friends, how are you guys? Okay, so I did not even plan on making this video, but <laughs> you guys were like, make more videos, which I was, you know, so flattered by. And I decided to that I would share with you guys my office, dining room turn office. If you guys have been following me for any length of time, you would have seen this makeover um, on my channel. I showed you guys almost like a step by step. I did a weekly video almost when I was making this over and um, I've been enjoying this room the whole summer you guys. It's been so nice to actually have a place to work in. As usual, it never looks this clean. I'm stunting for you guys. <laughs> I decided you would rather see it all nice and organized rather than, you know, my papers everywhere. Um, but yeah, so I did do a little something in here for fall. Not a lot. If you look on the blog, I actually have a blog post um, where I showed you guys the little change I made um, in here and in my entryway. I'll just do a little wave to you guys. Um, and in my entryway for fall, you know, you know me, simple, 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 you guys. I'm not going to change everything just because it's fall because we'll be going crazy if that's how we did seasonal decorating. <laughs> but I did make some changes in here that really had nothing to do with fall. It's just because I'm like a chronic changer <laughs> when it comes to my house. I love change. I love switching things around, especially with stuff that I already have. So you might notice it's not as pink in here as the original reveal that I shared. That's come at, That's because I switched some stuff up, right? It's not as pink in here. I changed out the lamps, which were pink. I changed out the pillows, which were pink. And I switched the curtains for my favorite cheap white curtains, you guys, from Ikea. They're like $10 each for that gray pink um mix curtain i had going on so yeah it's definitely deep pinkified <laughs> but there's still some pink in here because some things you know just i wasn't going to change like my artwork this is where i pulled in the um the colors for this room pink and gray and blue it's really where i got all these um colors from you guys so I don't have much going on on the sideboard here, you guys. It's very simple and clean up here. I usually will place things on the sideboard as I'm working in here. So I don't, you know, I didn't want too much decorative little tchotchkes and little things. So on here I have almost the same pieces that was already in this room when I first um, did the reveal video back in the spring. The only thing I did this time was just put it all in a tray. And that's a really good trick, you guys. When you're trying to, you know, sort of create a vignette, you know, just like a little moment <laughs> like I have here, trays work really well to sort of make everything relate to each other. Because imagine if I had all these things, the bus, the vase, the picture frame, and the two pumpkins. If I had those just sort of scattered on the sideboard here, it really wouldn't look as together. So a tray is a really nice trick um, to use on top of tables, sideboards, dressers, just to corral everything and make them look like they, you know, like they go together. <laughs> so that's a easy little, little trick in here. I have my dying eucalyptus, but yeah, they're not as fresh as they were when I first did the blog post. And these two guys were from home goods i have a blue which for some reason on the video looks purple anyway i have these two little if you guys again if you saw my um the videos that i did leading up to the reveal for this room i found these two almost mini size garden stools i love them so much but i still don't have anywhere to put them <laughs> so they're just sitting there in the corner and these pillows were in Kayla's room. Her room makeover is on the blog. That's my daughter's room. I actually made these out of um, a shower curtain that I had gotten at Target and the fabric was wonderful for that and I love like the graphic um, print. You know, it kind of makes the room not as uh, traditional and stuffy because the print is a little bit um, more graphic and modern. And I like, it's kind of like a 
you can't see, but it almost has a shimmer to it. And it works really nicely with the other gold accents, like in the frame, mirror, lamp. So I really like those. And you guys, this little pumpkin printable is available on the blog to download. There, I have like seven of them. They're so cute and pretty. And it was, I feel kind of bad because I, I sort of made them almost for myself, but I'm glad a lot of people like them as well. They're like a watercolor and it's like a little pumpkin with some succulents in it. I think it came out so cute. It's free on the blog, you guys. So go on and go download that. And I have some mum in a really pink, almost like purpley color. Again, like I said, I took away a lot of the pink, for, you know, by removing the pink lamps, the pink curtains, the pink and gray curtains, the pink pillows. But that doesn't mean I couldn't, you know, have a little bit of pink still, you guys. Have a little gray velvet pumpkin here. So everything here, you guys, again, fall, right? Mom's traditional fall flowers. You know, you have a velvet pumpkin here. You have this little watercolor printable that's succulents inside a pumpkin. Everything very fall, but not orange, not overdone, and not, you know, sort of traditional color. So really, you can get things to work in any any color decor you have. You don't have to think, oh, orange, orange, um, when thinking about fall decor. I've been, I feel like I've been stressing that in every video because I just don't want people to get overwhelmed thinking, oh, it's fall now. I want to, you know, update my house. Now I have to go buy a whole bunch of pumpkins and pillowcases with leaves and, um, you know, wheat stalks and <laughs> everything. It's pumpkin spice. No, you really can add the same sort of feel to your home. Um, working with what you already have, you know, just find pieces, be selective about what you bring in, and I promise you it will look good. This got this giant brass deers down here for I don't even know how it ended up here. <laughs> it wasn't part of the original decoration. I think I put it here to get to put it out of the way, and I never moved it. <laughs> That's how that happened. And there's nothing really going on here I just have a basket holding a very very small portion of my wrapping paper although you guys I use gift bags for everything I love my wrapping paper it's a problem anyway here's my desk it's not a it's not a lot here you guys remember you guys I was just talking about the tray right from over here well this is this tray at work imagine I had all these small little things scattered over this desk because remember my desk is not a desk right it's a dining room table because I love to spread out and <laughs> I usually have a bunch of stuff on my desk because I'm I guess a messy worker but anyway so there's like you know all types of things on here like lots of little little things imagine all of those sort of just spread out on this desk it would look really messy so again trays I love them I need to do a post on that I think <laughs> anyway um, that's pretty much it. I have some little feathers because to me, I don't know, I associate those with fall as well. And I have a little bit of fall stuff added to the entryway. I love this new mirror, you guys. It is so tall. It makes the whole, um, entryway look so, so grand. And here I am. <laughs> okay, guys. Okay, so right here, I, had, I just have like a simple dough bowl these kind of like wooden bowls um, are called dough bowls I only learned that recently on the internet you guys and I don't have a lot in here my little eucalyptus leaves are dying a little bit but I just have some um, white pumpkins a pair of brass deer and that's it and it's simple I love it and I have this little stand here with another white pumpkin that I got I didn't change out my Plant. It's, I still have my fake fiddle fig leaves. I love them. They're from West Elm, you guys. I have two of them in here, and they work every penny. I waited till a sale and got them, and they were so worth it. Let me see. Just my lamp here, my thrifted lamp, you guys. Another, another thrifted find. Only a few dollars, maybe eight bucks. I did a whole post on this lamp makeover, and it's beautiful. It's big. I love the shape. In this lampshade here with all the pretty details 
This is a fake pumpkin, you guys, that we've had forever and a day. This big basket here holds all my magazines and things like that. It's awesome for that. So that way I can just throw them in there whenever I need to grab some. And that's it, you guys, for the entryway. And I'll give you one more sweep of the office. It's like not too much to show in here. When this room was an was a dining room, you guys, I spent we spent no time in here. I'm not even gonna lie to you. We never use this room. And now I'm in here all the time. I mean I spend a good portion of my day in here, sort of like my little hideaway. I just wish that it had doors. If it did, I don't know if you'd be able to get me out of here. <laughs> But, you know, the um, kids and my husband and stuff will sit in here, too, and, um, I don't know, read books or whatever. Everyone really loves these these chairs. They were a really good price on Wayfair. I'll link to them on the blog. This was a semi-DIY. It was silver when I bought it. I spray-painted everything, and I had to individually put each and every one of these little crystals. I don't know if you guys can see how much there is on there. This was so time-consuming, but worth it. it it just looks so pretty. I love it. I've actually, you guys, never had a chandelier before. This is my fate. My first one. And, yeah, I'm in love with it. I think I'm going to cry when we move because I'm really going to miss it. <laughs> All right, you guys. That's it. Small fall touches and a random um, brass deer statue. That's what you got today. See you next time, friends. Bye.